Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, write the equation of a parabola. Well, I'm not really going to show you. I'm kind of going to explain the steps. But that's kind of the idea of the thing. So um, when I was looking into this video, one of the things that always gets me with my students is they don't want to do the first step. And I think the first step is the most important thing um, for you to do when trying to write the equation of a parabola. And I think the reason why a lot of students don't want to do the first step is because they're lazy, just like I am, and just like most people are, they want to try to do something as quick as possible. And they don't want to go through all of the steps, especially when they're not really seeing you know, so much of the benefit. But I think plotting the information, if you're given the focus, the vertex, the directrix, just write down the, it's like doing a word problem and we say, you know, draw the picture and the kids don't want to do the picture, they just want to try to solve it and get done with it, right? I understand. And I'm not, uh, I'm not blaming the student for it, um, but I, where I see the most amount of mistakes is because the students never did step number one. Plot the information. If you're given a point, directrix, anything you're given for the problem, write it down because when you write it down, what you can do is now visualize what this parabola is going to look like. And what we want to do is determine the axis symmetry. Is that, and not even just have the equation for the axis symmetry, but is the axis of symmetry vertical or is it horizontal? Because if it's vertical, then we have a, then we're going to write an equation where the x is going to be squared. And if it's horizontal, then we're going to write an equation where the y is going to be squared. So it's very important that we make sure we can differentiate where my axis of symmetry is at. The next thing is then from the axis symmetry is to determine the vertex. See where exactly the value is um, to, for my vertex, right? Because remember, the vertex goes through the axis of symmetry. Sometimes this information will be provided, and sometimes we're going to have to kind of determine it. The next thing is to determine the value of p. Remember, p is the distance from my, foc or from my directrix to my focus. However, the absolute value of p is also that same distance from my vertex to my directrix. And the last thing is once you've kind of figured out, you know, you know what the axis symmetry is, so you know which equation you're going to use, you know your vertex and you know p, that's all the information you need to do. Now you can just go ahead and write the equation. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is kind of like your step-by-step -step, uh, formula for writing the equation of a parabola in conic sections. Thanks.